Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. In this video, we're gonna look at some of the green screen options available in the Roland VO2 HD video mixer. We're gonna look at two different ways of doing green screen. First, we're gonna look at how to superimpose yourself over a background image like this. And then we're gonna look at how to overlay graphics like these over your video as well. So first, you're gonna to wanna to go into the menu. That's gonna open up this little dialogue here. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to key. And here is where you start getting into the options of how to configure the key. Whatever you have in this key source setting here is the thing that you're trying to remove the green from. What it gets applied to is set separately, which is confusing at first. So for now, we're gonna start with trying to remove this green background from behind me. So I have this camera plugged into input two. That means I wanna make sure that input two is selected here, not input one. If I select input one, weird things are gonna happen. Set that to input two, which has got this camera with the green background. I'm then gonna do not a luminance key because that's gonna remove white or black. Instead, I'm gonna switch luminance key to chroma. Now, why hasn't anything happened yet? Well, because I haven't actually enabled the key yet. So if you wanna actually enable the key, you need to go and click this effect button and change that down to key. Once you do that, it will then preview the key on the preview output. So what you're seeing here is the preview out and I've overlaid a little camera showing the interface so you can see what I'm pressing. So once the effect is enabled and the little light's on, that is now showing us a preview of what the key is doing. Right now, it's not really doing anything because I haven't actually set it up properly yet. So let's keep going through the menu here. So we know we want chroma key. We're gonna skip these for now and instead we're gonna look at the color. So right now it's keying out blue and there isn't really blue in this, which is why it's not working. So if we go and toggle this to green, now all of a sudden it's looking a lot better. There are a couple of other adjustments you can do to sort of dial it in right. And uh, you can change like how much green is keyed out. So if you, you know, change to more green then some of my face starts disappearing. And if you go down, then it isn't removing enough of the background. Back on the first page of the menu, there's a few more adjustments we can make to keep dialing this in. And you can actually control these with these little round dials. The key level and the key gain knobs, you can control to more finely tune the key. You can see here that now it's too low, so it's not removing enough green. But if I make it too high, then it's gonna start removing some of my face again. So you wanna find that spot where it looks good based on how you've got your lights set up. So you're basically gonna to wanna to play with these numbers until it starts looking right. Now, I don't have the best lighting here. I just have one light on my face. So ideally I would have uh, more lights on the background to make that green a little brighter and separate it better from my face. Um, but I didn't do a proper green screen setup here, just a quick one. So anyway, the, I have this looking pretty good. It's not perfect, obviously, um, but you can see that it has done a good job of removing the background. So I also mentioned that you have to choose which background layer to overlay this keyed out effect on top of. I don't really understand why it doesn't just always auto select the opposite uh, input since there's only two inputs on this thing, but you have to press this one button and that'll toggle it. So right now it's toggled to displaying the computer output, but if I do this, now it's overlaying, it's actually keying myself out on top of myself. I don't really understand why that's useful. I think it should have probably just auto selected the opposite. So go back to that and now, now it looks right again. Anyway, minor detail, it's a little bit confusing. If it doesn't look like it's working, that's probably why. So when you're ready to then push this to the program out, because this whole time we've been looking at it in the preview monitor. When you're ready to push it out to the program, you have two options. You can use the slider or the button. So let's switch the camera now to program output. So now we're looking at the program output, which is just the computer background. And as I move the slider, you can see my face is fading in. You can also do it with the button. If you press the button, it'll do it on a timer smoothly. And back out. So now that this looks about right, anything that's on my computer screen will be in the background behind me. So if I start my little keynote presentation here, now it switches over to my slides. And of course, this is probably not something you would do because I'm blocking most of the slides. I wish that you could combine the key effect with the picture in picture effect so that I could actually move my face down to the corner and just take up a smaller amount of the screen without having to physically do that in this space. Uh, but that does not seem to be available. It seems like you can only have one effect enabled at a time on the mixer. So I can't actually combine picture in picture effect with the key effect. So it's just a minor limitation really. Okay, next we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna look at how to overlay graphics on top of your video. So I'm gonna go switch this background so that it's not green anymore.
All right, so now I've got a nice clean white background behind me. We're not gonna be keying that out. That's just now your shot. So imagine this is your main camera of whatever program it is you're shooting. So we're gonna go over to the computer and we're gonna use the brand new software from here to record, H2R Graphics. Huge thanks to John Barker for creating this. I'm gonna use it in all of my upcoming gigs. Basically, it's a little piece of software that'll let you very easily add overlays and text and things onto your video. I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough of the software. You can go pop over to his channel to check it out, but instead we're just gonna dive right in. The really cool thing about the software is that it basically assumes you're using a two monitor setup. It runs on your laptop and then it'll output to a second display. So you click on the little chroma window, it pops up this little green window and this is where the graphics get overlaid. So you can do things like show a ticker. So you can kind of get the idea of how this is gonna work, right? The cool part is if you then make this full screen, now this is something that you can key out using the Roland. So I'm gonna pop my computer back into dual monitor mode and drag the little chroma window over here and make it full screen. And as soon as I do that, now we're ready to go. So back to the Roland. So here I am, this is the background that we want to overlay these graphics on. Now remember that's already running on the computer. It's got a green background and it's got the little text at the bottom. So we are in the key menu and now we're going to switch the source to input one because we want to now remove the green from input one, which is the computer. So we can adjust the levels. Remember how I said it's a little bit confusing. You again need to tell it which background layer to use. So right now it's keying out itself from itself. So you don't see anything. So if you hit the number one, now it switches back and now it's overlaying the news ticker on top of the video of myself here. So thankfully the software will output a very nice uniform green. So it'll mean, it means it'll be a very easy job to key it out, but you still may need to tweak a couple of things. The software lets you actually choose a background color to use as the key. So if I, for example, switch the background color to black and now you can see it's clearly not working. Um, but you can choose a really bright green or even switch it over to an orange or a blue or whatever you want. So you'll wanna play with a combination of choosing a good background color from the software. I prefer to use just bright green and dial in these settings to make sure it's looking good again. Once that's all set up, remember it's still only on the preview out, it's not on the program out. So let's switch over to the program output. And when you're ready to bring in the key effect, you can now slide the fader. Of course, this software makes it really easy to control the whole thing from itself. So instead, I like to just leave the chroma key on and do everything from the software. So if I, if I drag this out here so you can see what I'm doing, you can, for example, hide all effects. You can show a logo in the corner. You can use lower thirds to show those. And the ticker. And if you want them all to go away, you can hide them all from the software. And of course, because the computer is providing a solid green, you're not gonna have any problems with bleed or, or things not quite looking right. So there you go. There's a quick rundown of how to do Chroma King using Roland VO2 HD Mixer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks, and until next time.